Welcome back. You might have driven by many times, but never noticed a strange collection of houses in East Vancouver. They are occupied by former street people who have been rescued by a controversial figure, a man Ethan Faber calls the Pit Bull Prophet. Come on, Jim. It's before dawn and time for a rude awakening. Julie, it's 7 o'clock, 7.15. Dennis. It's loud and persistent. Dennis. Come on, wake up. 7.15, guys. Wake up duty Morning. here involves rousing about a dozen people. Morning, Vance. Making sure the day starts on schedule. I checked the property and everyone is accounted for. And reporting to this man. His name is Vance Cohen. He's the controversial director of an organization called Bread of Life. A, a ministry, you know, a mission, um, uh, a refuge. Um, but more than anything, I like it to be my family. It's based out of three ramshackle houses on a busy corner in East Vancouver. Daniel's here. What's with Taylor? Cohen runs a tight ship. Surrounded by a pack of pit bulls, he takes in people from the street and puts them on a daily diet of Christian morality and good old-fashioned revival sing-alongs. Cohen is a man on a mission, making the most of a second chance. Thirteen years ago, he tried to kill himself by jumping from the Granville Street Bridge. He woke up paralyzed from the waist down. I should have been dead, but uh, I know that it was God um, that uh, spared my life. So he's dedicated his life to running a ministry based on strict rules. Garbage and mopping. Dale's got the garbage part of it. Who will take the mopping? And we're Follow them and the faithful receive food, shelter and emotional okay, support. Break them yeah. and you're back on the street. It's a tough love philosophy that's earned Cohen enemies. They're told that if they don't uh, like the rules, just abide by them until you have a chance to leave and don't cause a problem, but they do. And then when they either leave or ask them to leave, they go and fabricate um, regarding myself in here. To the but the residents stand by their leader. Uh, hopefully we can make scrambled eggs with that. Steve is a former stock promoter who almost lost everything to a cocaine addiction. You know, you, you, you're, on, you're on the streets and stuff, you get suicidal or you don't know where you're going to turn. And, and here he's helped me to understand that God is there for you all the time. Dale Taxeths lived at Bread of Life for three years. Before he came here, he suffered from intense depression. It's like any organization, it may have things that are a little bit unconventional to the outside world, but uh, in morally and ethically, this place is sound. One of the most unconventional features here is the number of four-legged street survivors. Including the puppies, there are at least nine dogs. Want to go for a run? Rachel. They sometimes get disciplined and uh, physically on the hindquarters of the shoulders. And that's mostly for serious things that could jeopardize their life or others, like going off the property. He takes his dogs everywhere. Actually, the dogs Rachel. take him. Rachel, help! Turning his wheelchair into a chariot, Cohen, the pit bull prophet, stampedes across the city, taking the gospel to the downtown east side. You got the soup happening, you got the cops, got some bread. His helpers follow in a van, bringing food and setting up a soup kitchen right on the sidewalk. Go, Enjoy, it's very warm, so it's very hot. Sean's battled with drug addiction for most of his life. He's grateful for the opportunity to give something back and gives Cohen much of the credit. I believe, yeah, he is a good guy. I'd like to see anybody else try and fill his shoes. Anybody else, you know, anybody can try. <laughs> there are rumors that the authorities plan to shut the ministry down. Cohen believes his future is in the hands of a higher power. If they accuse me of something I didn't do and, and wrongfully find me guilty and put me in jail, even jail would probably be an easier life than the life I've given myself here. So uh, what's there to really be afraid of? Ethan Faber, VTV News. And time now to turn it over to Jody Van.